we know how important it is for schools to have crossing guards to safely get our students to and from school every day. In fact, many districts depend on them to make that happen. But it's been a challenge in Hastings mm -hmm. uh, to keep people in those positions. Brittany Flowers talked with the superintendent and joins us now. Uh, Brittany, what does he say they're doing to try and fix the problem? Well, Teresa and Donovan, there are some concerning areas where students come across uh, to and from school, but it's something the district says it's aware of and actively working to address. We have six crossings, uh, intersections within Hastings City. The Hastings Area School District has had a difficult time keeping crossing guard positions filled. It is kind of a niche position. Uh, it's, it's, it's roughly 30 to 45 minutes in the morning and 30 to 45 minutes in the afternoon. We've had some hard times trying to get people to apply for those positions. One intersection in particular at Park and Grand near the middle school currently does not have a crossing guard at all. We've had this one position posted for a, right around a year. Superintendent Matt Goebel says the district has made parents aware of that and provided alternative crossing zones. Some parents, though, have questioned why there are two guards at the intersection of Green and Broadway and why the district doesn't move one. The one that we have two crossing guards on is a state highway. It's our busiest intersection in Hastings. That's not only just cars or trucks coming through there, but like semi-trucks. We have had some reports of uh, children almost getting hit and our crossing guard almost getting hit. So we felt like we needed to have uh, two crossing guards at that point in time. Superintendent Goebel says he communicates weekly with the Hastings police chief. Many of the intersections surrounding the school are two-way stops rather than four, something the police chief is working to change. The city council just approved a four-way stop at Park and Grand Monday night. Drivers, however, still have a big responsibility as well. You kind of got to be aware and slow down and take your time and be safe for these kids. Superintendent Goebel says the district continues to ask hourly staff to help with crossing students at the beginning and end of the day. They're also working to get a radar trailer, new signage, and new paint for the crosswalks. If you're interested in applying for a crossing guard position, you're encouraged to contact the Hastings School District. Teresa.